Hey there, future Azure administrators. Welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will be diving into the A to Z of the Azure Administrator or a Z104 certification. Now, why is this certification important? The Z104 certification not only validates your expertise in managing Azure environments, but also enhances your credibility in the job market, making you a more attractive candidate for top tier roles. Plus, certified professionals often enjoy higher salaries, better job security, and greater opportunities for advancement. Stick around and by the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to becoming a certified Azure Administrator. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on our latest tech tips. So, let's get started. The Z104 certification is a Microsoft certification aimed at individuals aspiring to become Azure administrators. Firstly, to ace this certification, you need to be skilled in implementing, managing, and monitoring an organization's Azure setup. As an Azure admin, you'll be part of a team working on the cloud infrastructure. You'll need to coordinate with other roles to deliver Azure solutions for networking, security, databases, app development, and DevOps you should be comfortable with. Operating systems, knowledge of Windows and Linux operating systems is essential. Networking, understanding network configurations, protocols, and IP addressing. Servers and virtualization, experience with server management and virtualization technologies. Azure tools, proficiency with PowerShell, Azure CLI, the Azure portal, Azure Resource Manager templates, and Microsoft Entra ID. Now let's talk about the key skills the AZ-104 exam measures. Those are managing Azure identities and governance. This includes managing Azure Active Directory objects, role-based access control or RBSC, and managing subscriptions and governance. Implementing and managing storage. This covers managing storage accounts, data in Azure storage, and securing data. Deploying and managing Azure Compute Resources. This involves deploying and managing VM, implementing Azure App Services, and automating deployment processes. Implementing and managing virtual networking. This includes configuring and managing virtual networks, managing IP addresses, and configuring load balancing. Monitoring and maintaining Azure resources. This involves monitoring resources by using Azure Monitor, implementing backup and recovery, and managing updates. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Now, how can we prepare for this exam? There are numerous courses available in the market for the Z104 certification. For example, SimpliLearn provides the Microsoft Azure certification course. This is the syllabus covered in the course. It covers all the essential skills like administer Azure, ID users and groups, account configuration and storage management, containers provisioning and management on Azure, Azure resource monitoring, configure storage access, Azure storage firewalls and virtual networks, build and configure an Azure app service, implement backup and recovery, oversee Azure subscriptions and governance, automate the resource provisioning using either Azure Resource Manager RM templates or BICEP files, configure and administer virtual virtual networks within Azure, Azure Resources Access Management, set up Azure files and Azure blob storage, virtual machines creation and configuration, configure name resolution and load balancing, along with practice labs and projects. You can also attend the course which is available on Microsoft Learn. Now, practice assessments are crucial for preparing for Microsoft certification exams as they familiarize you with the question style and difficulty level, helping to identify strengths and weaknesses. By pinpointing areas needing improvement, you can focus your studies more effectively, ensuring a comprehensive understanding of the material. These assessments also teach time management and reduce exam anxiety by simulating the actual test environment. Utilizing Microsoft Learn for practice exams, you can integrate these tests with your learning modules, review your answers, and adjust your study plan accordingly, thereby improving retention and application of knowledge. Now that you are all ready, before taking the real exam, try out the exam sandbox. Now, exam sandbox is basically a demo of your original exam. 
It will contain the exact user interface that you will use for your exam. This is a good opportunity to get familiar with the platform. Also, you can find the prep videos in their website, which provides the tips, tricks, and strategies that will immensely help you in your exam. Now let's see how much does the exam cost. The exam costs 165 USD, but the price may vary depending on your location, which can be verified on their official website. To maintain your certification and stay updated with the latest Azure practices and updates, you must renew your certification every 12 months. Now let's see how the exam pattern looks like. You'll have 100 minutes to finish the exam where you can expect 40 to 60 questions and will be a combination of multiple choice and case study based questions. It's proctored and closed book with some interactive tasks to complete. If you don't pass on the first try, no worries, you can retake it after 24 hours. If you fail again, you have to wait for 14 days, which is again possible only up to five attempts. If you fail even after the fifth attempt, then you can retake it only after a waiting period of 12 months. The best part is that they also offer accommodations for individuals who may need additional time due to language barriers or disabilities. With prior notice and proper documentation, these accommodations ensure that everyone has an equal opportunity to participate and succeed. This inclusive approach demonstrates their commitment to accessibility and fairness, recognizing that each individual's needs may vary. The exam is accessible in a diverse array of languages, broadening its reach to include English, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, French, Spanish, German, Portuguese, Russian, Arabic, Italian, and Indonesian. This multilingual availability ensures that candidates from various linguistic backgrounds can engage with the exam in their native or preferred languages, enhancing comprehension and reducing potential language barriers. So that was it about the Azure Administrator Certification. Hope you got a complete idea on what the exam is about and how to prepare and approach the exam. If you have any doubts, drop your questions in the comments section below. Have a great day. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.